Um, I was just a troublemaker as a kid, and my dad wanted me off the streets and out of trouble, so kind of just walked up to me and I was, he was like, hey, you wanna join boxing? And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, was, you know, beat up on some kids, not get in trouble for it, let's do it. Um, I, I kind of picked it up pretty fast, you know, probably within a few months I realized it was pretty decent at it, not good, but it was pretty decent at it and kind of turned it into like a, a sport that I loved instead of just a, something to beat up on kids. <laughs> um, it wasn't a major amateur career, it was a record of 48 and 6 with like 30 something knockouts, but uh, it was kind of a small, I guess, I don't know if it was small or not, but it was kind of, I guess, an average in Northern California type of deal. Yeah, uh, I originally signed with, uh, I think it was a TKO Promotions uh, on the day of my birthday, uh, 18. And then, uh, I guess they went under, and then I had no contract, I was free agent for a little bit. And then I signed with Golden Boy, and that, that I've been with them since my pro debut. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's cool, you know. I'm the first, actually, in Northern California to not have a Olympic or major uh, amateur background and and get signed by you know before their pro debut and stuff, uh, you know, by Golden Boy Promotions, or even you know, there's some people that have a major background or or bigger background than I did and still didn't get signed by Golden Boy Promotions. So it's a pretty good feeling. <coughs> um, my career has been a little bit slower than I wanted and expected, but uh, you know, at least uh, you know I have a promoter and have fights lined up, you know, from time to time. Um, you know, I just want to be world champion. I want to fight anybody, you know, be world champion. So that's pretty much what I want, you know, and a title fight and and to prove my point. It changed me a lot, you know, I didn't really think it was going to change me, but, uh, it, you know, it kind of motivates me more, you know, uh, makes me a little bit more cautious and more uh, smarter in the ring and, and out the ring while I'm training. So, uh, it's, you know, it's been a big plus, you know, so I, I actually, I'm not in there just to try to, you know, going swinging with without and without any care in the world you know now i'm more cautious but i'm also smarter so i'm it's actually a, a big benefit for me because now it's just a, a smarter game you know a chess match now instead of a checker match um it's really frustrating for the reasons why i lost not because he was a better fighter or or he was faster or stronger you know just for different reasons that shouldn't have happened um, ho hopefully, the, you know, I'll be a, a household name where where people will know, you know, I was more of the fighters in this generation where it's more old school where I'm willing to fight anybody and I don't care who they are, what their record is or where they come from, you know, I, I don't dug nobody and kind of want to show like that, I guess, Mexican-American style of boxing as well where everybody's when they think of me is they're gonna think of you know that Mexican pride with that you know I guess kind of Oscar De La Hoya style of boxing where I'm not in there to go toe-to-toe -to -toe if I don't have to